So this case, it's a completely digitalist maxilla and a single tooth implant on number 30. Um, I work this up two different ways. The first way I want to show is with angled implants. And um, there's nothing wrong with this. This is fine. Um, but she did have really good bone here. And um, she just had didn't have a lot of bone here. So my other idea was to, why don't I just, instead of angling this implant, just place an implant vertically. I would have the same profile. Um, this one actually be a little better because I could push this out. So I feel like this would be a better better idea for, for better AP spread. Um, it's going to be an implant supported overdenture. And um, what I did was I sent this off to... Um, 3D uh, image conversion to have them segment out the maxilla and I'm going to go ahead and make a guide on this maxilla so what we'll do is go into surfaces isolate the maxilla at this point um, I'm pretty happy with all my um, with everything I've done so as far as the uh, planning uh, each one of these out so in implants, I'm going to go into and click off number 30, click off my nerve, click off any teeth I have, and click off up here, turn this off. So we'll, what we'll do is we will make sure we're on pilot drill, go into guide panel, click on bone model, draw curve, make sure we're on maxilla, select. Now this is going to be a bone guide. And let's see, edit curve. That looks sufficient. And the guy, the software automatically defaults to a three millimeter guide thickness. So for this, I'm just going to go and print out a two, or you can even print out a one millimeter guide thickness. I'm actually probably going to do both. So I'll press OK. And then I'll press um, create surgical guide. Um, a three millimeter surgical guide is going to get real thick and it's going to have these bigger extensions. It's going to require larger flaps. And this, as you can see, is pretty far back enough. Um, so this is a lot thinner. Um, I'm going to be printing this on a Moonray printer. So I'd be very happy with this. And then for the lower arch, uh, make sure you s save your data between each one. For the lower arch, all I'm going to do is just make a single tooth uh, pilot drill guide for the mandible. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, we actually don't have a, I don't have an impression of this, and I, and I haven't um, had a chance to include her lower model. She's coming in um, in a couple days but I want to demonstrate the maxilla on making this guide. So if you want to make another one, you can just go back to the surgical guide model, turn this, turn the surgical guide off, and turn, call this one millimeter. And then um, <coughs> you go back into guide panel, press edit curve here. What you'll do is you'll increase this to two millimeters. And then press create surgical guide. And you can see that this is much thicker. It's just gonna be a lot bigger, a lot a lot longer extensions to get in the mouth. So I'll just I'll exp export both of these. And I always like to export my data as singles, so I'll do one at a time. Make sure to turn all this stuff off. All right, and that's pretty much it for an a fully edentulous maxilla after it's been segmented.